Hi, my name is Mark Belage. I'm president of TorontoEntrepreneurs.ca. Thanks for watching. In this series, I talk about different topics that are of interest to business owners, entrepreneurs, and senior level financial people. So today's topic is negotiating tips for business owners. So these are my top 20 tips of areas that I think would be helpful for you as a business owner or really anyone in general negotiating something. So number one is do your homework. Know what the market is. Know what you're buying or know what the deal is and understand what are all the different scenarios that are happening in the market for that particular product or service. Number two, see the situations from all angles, especially from the other side. I always like to put myself in the shoes of the other person uh, on, the other end, on the other side of the table. What are they thinking? What's their motivation? What do they want to get out of the deal? Ask them if you want. Number three is understanding the other, other side, other side, other positions uh, leverage or what their position is. Uh, where are they at in the negotiating stage? What, what are they looking to get out of this? Number four, ask what the other side wants out of the deal. What's important to them? That's always helpful for you to know that when you're negotiating. Number five, remain calm. Negotiating should never be emotional. Keep a straight face. Don't, I always, I never like to show my cards in the sense of if I'm happy with the deal or I'm not happy with the deal. So keep a straight face. Walk away if you have to. Most times there's usually an option of do nothing. I don't have to do anything. Number seven, listen, listen, and listen. Listen for cues, listen for opportunities, listen for something maybe perhaps between the lines. Number eight, and these are my list of top 20 items in negotiating. Number eight, ask for everything you want, but pre be prepared not to get everything. Be flexible. Number nine, think of what is most important to you and what are the deal breakers and communicate that to the other party. Tell them, look, this is a deal breaker for me. If I don't get this, then this deal's off the table. But really think about what's the most important to you and what you can live without. Because you can give away the things that you can live without, maybe in anticipation of getting something that you really want. Number 10, try to make every deal a win-win. In all my dealings over the years, I've always thought about really trying to find a deal that, win, that is a win-win for everybody. Number 11, define your end goals. What would make you happy? What deal would make you happy at the end of it to say, great, I got what I wanted at a fair price or whatever I had to give away? Avoid finger pointing. Well, you said this, and you, I thought you told me this would happen. Avoid that, those kind of scenarios because then it puts people back up against their wall, back up against the wall. Take notes so you can refer to them afterwards. You really want to, you really uh, take notes uh, so you can refer to them afterwards because you might come up with something that uh, you might want to come back to and you might say, you know what, you had mentioned this in a previous conversation. Is this still on the table? Again, these are my top 20 negotiating tips for business owners. Number 14, slow down or speed up the process depending on the situation. How anxious are you to get the deal done? How, if you go slower, perhaps you might get a better deal. It really depends on what the situation is. So slow down or speed up depending on what the situation is. If someone offers you something that's too good to be true, don't wait too long to accept it because that piece of it may not be available for long. This is number 16, I, I learned this many years ago uh, about negotiating, is say no three times. Somebody will not ask you a fourth time for something. So if you ask them, if, if they ask you for something and they, you say no, they might not, they, they might ask it to you again. If they ask you a second time and you say no, they possibly will ask you a third, but maybe not likely. But same thing for you, you can ask somebody three times. Maybe tweak the question in a different way and you might get a different response. Number 17, think outside the box. Sometimes deal, deals get done when ideas just get thrown out of, the, out of, the, uh, out of uh, left field. So just throw different ideas. Think outside the box. Be very creative on deals. And number 18, brainstorm all ideas. When you're brainstorming, there's no ideas that should be left off. You maybe come back to an idea that you previously had discarded. 
and don't rule out an idea too early. There might be an idea that you might go, ah, you know what, that was a long time ago, but hey, you know what, let's come back to it. And then finally, number 20, start with a blank page. Do what you, what, what do you want? What do I want? I was just like pulling out literally a blank page with a, with a person that I'm prepared to do a deal with and say, okay, what do you want? And what do I want? And let's see where there's some similarities. Starting off with a blank page can set it all on a good tone, good note. So in conclusion, analyze research and understanding all sides of the deal will make deals happen a lot easier. Uh, my name again is Mark Belash. I'm president of torontoentrepreneurs.ca. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, visit our website as well at torontoentrepreneurs.ca, but reach out to me on LinkedIn. Be happy to connect. Uh, if you're starting up a business, you have a business already set up, be happy to talk to you about it. Uh, we do have our annual Toronto Entrepreneurs Conference and Trade Show that you can come out to uh, check out. We do it every um, every year, at least twice a year. So, uh, and then you can also give me a call at 905-812-5627. That's 905-812-5627, extension 2873. If you're looking to add staff, uh, temporary or permanent, we have a recruiting division as well uh, on our torontojobs.ca side. Uh, by all means, uh, check out torontojobs.ca and also visit our uh, YouTube channel as well. We have a great Toronto Entrepreneurs uh, YouTube channel as well that you can check out some of the uh, videos that we've posted in the past as well. So I want to thank you for watching. Again, my name is Mark Belage, president of torontoentrepreneurs.ca. Have a great, have a great day and look forward to connecting with you another time. Thank you.